Bonjour, mes amis. Salut. Comment ça va? Hey, it's great to have you back. We've got a really, really useful lesson ahead of us today. I call it, It is Necessary to, Il est Nécessaire de. And what's so cool is we're going to learn how to shorten that phrase so that it's even easier to use. We're going to use a phrase that's used all the time in French. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So, using the expression, Il est Nécessaire, we could simply say, it is necessary to go back to my house. Il est nécessaire de rentrer chez moi. In other words, hey, I gotta go, it's been fun. Il est nécessaire de rentrer chez moi. Remember, rentrer chez moi, to return back to my home, chez moi. So, like I said before, we could shorten that so it's even simpler to say. And that's using the verb falloir which we never ever use in its infinitive form. Uh, I should never say never ever, but I've never used it in its infinitive. You always say, il faut, il faut. It is necessary to is literally what you're saying, but in French they have a way of shortening it even further to il faut. Il faut, it is necessary. Il faut rentrer chez moi. I have to go back to my house is basically what I'm saying instead of saying J'ai besoin de rentrer chez moi, which is an acceptable way of saying it. J'ai besoin, I have need of going back to my house, is literally what you're saying right there. You can just say, il faut rentrer chez moi. How easy is that? Yeah, they make it so easy in French. It just, I just love this language. So, um, another expression. Il faut manger tous les jours. Il faut manger tous les jours. What am I saying? It is necessary to eat every day. You can't go a day without eating. I, I, you could, you could, but in general, il faut manger tous les jours. Il faut manger dîner tous les soirs. You have to eat dinner, or in general, one has to eat dinner every evening. Okay, so you can skip it, but you see my point. Okay, notice how when we say il faut, it's very general. We're not really directing it at anybody in particular. And that's okay for now because you can kind of use contextual clues to mold it. However, there are several ways to, how shall I say, focus the verb at a particular someone. Well, we'll get to that in another lesson because really, if you just say il faut and use contextual clues, il faut rentrer chez moi, you pretty much know that, hey, you're talking about me, you needing to go home. Il faut rentrer chez vous. Il faut rentrer chez vous. It is necessary to go back to your house. See, you're just basically saying, hey, go back home. Pretty cool, right? Okay, we can generalize it even more. So here we go. À l'école, at school, à l'école, il faut écouter. If it is necessary to listen to, écouter, to listen to. Il faut écouter bien le professeur. Il faut écouter bien le professeur. À l'école, il faut écouter bien le professeur. Know what I said? At school, it's necessary to listen very well to the, uh, to the, uh, the teacher, le professeur. Got it? Pretty easy. Uh, à l'école, il faut faire bien à tous les sujets. Tous les sujets. All the subjects. Tous les sujets. Su sujet is subject, like mathématiques. That's mathematics. Comme français, like French. Comme anglais, like English. Comme les sciences, like the sciences. Got it? Il faut faire bien à tous les sujets. Il faut faire bien à tous les sujets. It's necessary to do well at all the subjects. Il faut faire bien à mathématiques. Il faut faire bien à l'écriture, writing. L'écriture is writing. Il faut faire bien à, à le français. Il faut faire Il faut faire bien au français, excusez-moi. Il faut faire bien au français. Il faut faire bien à l'anglais. It is necessary to do well at English, of course. Okay, so you got it. Um, for those of you who aren't in school, these, those of you that go to work every day, like myself, au travail, at work, au travail, il faut travailler dur. Travailler, remember it's to work, il faut travailler dur, hard, it's necessary to work hard, il faut travailler bien, it's necessary to work well, il faut faire, uh, il faut, il faut travailler bien avec des autres, it's necessary to work well with others, 
Got it? See how useful this expression is? We could say, il faut rentrer chez moi, which is, it is necessary to go back home. Hey guys, I need to go home. Il faut rentrer chez moi. Uh, il faut rentrer chez vous. Hey guys, you know, I've had fun, but really, go back home, is what you're saying. <laughs> à l'école, il faut bien écouter le professeur. It is necessary to listen very well, very carefully to the, the teacher. Au travail. Um, à mon travail, at my work, à mon travail, il faut travailler bien avec les clients, les clients, the clients, the customers, il faut travailler bien avec les clients. Okay, it's necessary to work well with the customers. À mon travail, il faut travailler bien avec les clients. Got it? So that was... You know, we're taking a very general expression, il faut, and then we're using some contextual clues and making it applicable to a certain subject. In this case, it was me, uh, mon travail. Okay. Um, let's do, let's throw in some days of the week here. A dimanche, le dimanche, we'll say, le dimanche, il faut aller à votre église, église. Il faut aller à votre église. Église is a church. To your church, à votre église. Il faut aller, remember, it is necessary to go, à votre église. Okay, I was just saying that as, you know, a general, you know, you could just, I wasn't trying to, to preach to you. I was just saying, you know, you could say that it is necessary to go to, the, go to church in, in many communities, you know, you... It's expected that you go to church, so... But again, if that's not your thing, hey, that's okay. Um, le... Okay, si vous travaillez, si vous travaillez, if you work, si vous travaillez, il faut aller à votre travail le lundi, le lundi, Monday. Okay, if you work, uh, si vous travaillez, il faut aller à votre travail le lundi. On Mondays. Remember, le lundi is, in general, on Mondays. Le lundi. The Monday. Remember that? Okay. Let's say you clean your house, top to bottom, on Tuesdays. I just, you know, because I clean my house on Tuesdays. Il faut, il faut faire le ménage. Faire le ménage. Ménage is the word for household. And um, so if you faire le ménage, you actually cleaning, straightening the entire house. Il faut faire le ménage le mardi. Le mardi. Remember, mardi is Tuesday. So, le mardi, il faut faire le ménage. You have to do the housework or clean your household. Il faut faire le ménage. Il faut nettoyer. Great verb. Nettoyer. To clean. Il faut nettoyer toute la maison. Il faut nettoyer toute la, toute la maison. Maison is the word for house, and it's feminine. La maison. So we would say, toute la maison. Il faut nettoyer toute la maison le mardi. Got that? So you could build like a gazillion phrases with this il faut business. It's so useful. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it right here. No, let's do, let's do one more day. Let's touch on, aha, vendredi. Remember what vendredi is? It's Friday. Le vendredi, on Fridays. Okay. Il faut sortir avec vos amis le vendredi. You know what I said? I said, il faut sortir. Sortir. What is that verb, sortir? To exit, literally. But um, in French, they use it to go out. Like to go out and party or to go out and hang out at a bar or something. Il faut sortir avec vos amis. Vos amis. Your friends. Le vendredi. Pretty cool, huh? Like I said, it's such a useful verb, this valoir, this il faut business. So you can use it for just about anything. All right. As usual, if you have questions, just send me a comment. I love helping people out. And um, if I made any mistakes, I know I've got some viewers from um, Le Francophonie, the French-speaking countries watching me. I think that's really, really sweet of you. Um, go ahead. Correct me. You know, I'm human. I make mistakes. So, okay. A tout à l'heure. Bye-bye.